Today, I'm going to show you how you can stop Windows 10 from spying on you. So, let's go. Go to the link in the description and you'll get this one. Shut up 10, it's called. Click on download and save it wherever you want. When the file is downloaded, you can simply run it. Now this application does not require you to install it. You only need to run it, so you don't need to have it in downloads, of course. You can have it wherever you want to be able to access it. But no install required, it is just a simple way to get to all the settings, which you can do manually, but that can take hours to reach all the different uh, pages where you change the settings. So this is a very smart little application. Now you can see here that if we hover over uh, disable sharing of handwriting data, which is the first one, we can see the question mark. Uh, so it uh, gives an explanation on what it is. We can here try to change it. Now it does recommend you, strongly recommend you to create a system restore point. Uh, so you should do that. It's better. Anyways, uh, to change this, uh, instead of reading up on every single little thing, what we can do is we go with apply only recommended settings. And now we can see that most of them, which is recommended, were uh, disabled, which will indeed protect your privacy much more. If you want to fill in some uh, other of these one, you can read up on them, like here biometrical features and this goes a little other way instead of the system settings but um, I don't use fingerprint or anything like that so I can disable it. So basically uh, you can disable as much as you want um, and I don't use the camera I can disable it but you can see here that some of the recommended things are not disabled like camera for example and I use my microphone right now of course so of course I cannot disable this. Now the recommended settings is uh, best for most people, but um, if you want to have a little deeper dive on how to, you know, um, stop other services from running, uh, then you can uh, disable them here as well. Um, and if you disable absolutely everything, uh, you might have a little bit issue of Windows working. So. Um, I recommend you to not do that, but it will be much more safe, of course. Um, but the recommended setting again is uh, best for most people. If you scroll down on the list, you can also see uh, settings uh, sorted by system. So we have Windows Explorer here. Uh, you can also turn off window, uh, Windows uh, OneDrive. Um, you know, Microsoft OneDrive, which is in Explorer. You can turn it off here, very handy. You can also turn off automatic Windows updates. This is not recommended. You can also turn off Windows Defender, but that's things you shouldn't do. So once again, uh, go with recommended settings for most people. Uh, and uh, you just click apply on the recommended settings here and you can uh, disable some other things as well. I recommend you to first apply only recommended settings, see if everything is working, working correctly, and then you can uh, turn uh, off or disable other things as well and see if that also works. Is If some of your apps and anything stop works, you can uh, undo all the changes to factory reset or um, create this, you know, create a system restore point and you could go back to that also. So uh, that's basically how to use it. And uh, well, this is only what you do. You just change the settings here and you can close this one down. And when you're trying to close it, it gives you this little recommendation. Um, and that is that when you run a major Windows 10 update, it can sometimes uh, turn things back on. Like for example, I had removed Cortana, I had removed Edge, and after the latest update, they came back. So uh, you might need to run this application again after the next major Windows update. But that is not different from if you would have changed the settings yourself inside settings and go around like that for an hour. Uh, then you also need to do that again after every big major Windows update. 
Anyways, we want to close it and we need to restart Windows for all of the changes to apply. Some of these changes require restart, some do not. So uh, restart your system and uh, you should have the uh, nice settings you set up and this would hopefully make it so that Windows 10 can no longer spy on you using this very nice freeware. Well, thanks for watching to the end of the video and uh, hoped it helped you. If it did, please leave a like and do subscribe for future solution videos and uh, tech help. In any case, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jim Odesson, signing out. You can also donate to the channel in the description if you want to. Anyways, see you. Bye.